Hello, it's Oopsie Daisy. I'm Ashley. I'm Vanessa, and I'm already I'm already tired of this. <laughs> tired of what? This. The podcast in general, or just this specific Today! episode? Today! <laughs> You've made it so traumatic for me. Why? I didn't do anything. You just made it so traumatic. I can't handle it. You're being dramatic. Okay, you just like... You're like, I can't see you, but everything's working. Can't hear you. Everything's working. I have the check. It says my shit is operational. And then you're like, where's the record button, bitch? It's the big (laughs) red button. Listen, it's been a while. Okay. (laughs) I forget where things are. It's true. But literally, this episode that we're about to record... um. We I typed up the notes for it before Life with Luca came out. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think it was just as the trailer dropped. So it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a hot second. And then all last week Vanessa was home on vacation. And I was like, I can do this. You're like, I'm going to my mommy's. And so I was like, hey, maybe we could do it Sunday. And then Vanessa was like, no, sorry, can't doing archery like the freaking green arrow uh <laughs> it's more like because i'm a big D nerd <laughs> so like obviously no not obviously i would never associate the two so i don't know maybe you stuff. should and then we were gonna do it monday but then vanessa's like nah and no to tuesday it's because nah. it was a holiday i was away well, you first suggested Monday. <laughs> no, I didn't. You no, did. I didn't. You did. I'm going, I'm reading the receipts. Okay, go ahead. Because you were like, oh, let's, I, I was like, okay, we could do something Sunday. And you're like, sorry, can't. We can maybe do Monday. No, no, no. And then no, later no. you were like, no, no. oh, wait, no, can't do that day. No, 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 wait now. Let me, let me, I'm looking. Oh, Okay. It was because you had a holiday. You're like, yeah, I could do that day. Yeah, D and D got moved to Monday <laughs> because they're like, let's have a barbecue instead. And I was like, okay. Oh god. Oh, speaking of that, I should I I should have a truly. Do what? <laughs> ASMR. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's just me popping a truly. Having a cold one with the girls. Okay. So, yeah. um, And then everything else has just been us being lazy and not wanting to do anything. Bro, it's hard. Life's hard. Back when we started this, life was not hard for some reason. For some reason. I have no idea. (laughs) We did it every freaking week. I don't... And I would edit it. Like, I think we did it on, like, a Wednesday or Thursday. So I literally would always, like, upload it on a Sunday, and I would get it yeah. done on a Sunday. Yeah, no, like, I have no Where idea. Where is that efficiency? <laughs> I mean, I have, like, steady work now, so back when we started, I was, like, three or four days a week, random times, so, like, I was, like, oh, it's 2 p.m. on a Wednesday? Hell yeah, let me set up my closet for recording. <laughs> Only the OGs will remember. (laughs) Yeah, that was wild. Very wild. Yeah, I have an office now. Actually, it's my gaming room. If you would see my office, it is just filled with Marvel and DC. Bro, you gotta burn that shit because they did your girl dirty. Burn it all. No, because half of this isn't even related to that. (laughs) <laughs> we'll burn everything related to that. No, because I love all of it. <laughs> it looks good, though. Okay, thank you. Though, I'm going to be moving again, so... <laughs> My god! You have a whole-ass mountain house to yourself. Just stay there forever. Well, I can't, because my mom, they, they want to get a bigger house. So she's like, well, you like, I'll get basically get the whole basement to me and Barry. And so she wants you to be like there houses. with them. Okay. 
I wish my life was that simple. JK, I just wish I could have a house. <laughs> well, you're the, the, the Canadian market is insane. Don't talk to me about the Canadian housing market. I, I we my 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 sister and my mom we love to watch like love it and list it, love it or list it, and whenever they're Canada, whenever they're in Canada, we know for sure based off like the housing because it could be like this little like three by three room and they're like it's half a million dollars. Oh no, there's a <laughs> there's a place down my road, and I'm like oh my god, this is the shittiest house ever. It's gonna be a million dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna check right now. <laughs> Real but seriously, it's so like I look at these houses that like are like a million dollars, and I'm like, that would be nowhere near that. At least in Pennsylvania. Oh yeah, no, it's uh, it's crazy. I'm gonna go for where's the map? Where's the map? Eight hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars. That's crazy. Yeah, I hate it. Anyway, so let's get started on this episode. Yes. <clears throat> you want to give the episode summary? Oh, God. I forgot that was the thing. It's been so long. Okay. <laughs> the last time okay. we did it, we didn't do it. And I was like, shit. <laughs> the formula is fucked. Okay. Okay. They're in a hallway? They're like, we're Hogwarts. We have prefects now. And, like, Edwin and Lizzie are upset because their sister doesn't get punished because she's a child, which, big mood. Uh, but Derek's power hungry? Like, dude is crazy. And then, you know, I don't know how the principal's that gullible. That is my summary. It's horrible. It's on the spot. I apologize. I forgot did you, did this you watch was it last night? I did. And that's why I know. But did no. <laughs> but forgot that summaries were a thing. <laughs> because I literally watched this like what four months ago? I did too. And, I, and then I forgot everything. And I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it like again. So when you started like even like saying like, oh, it's like Hogwarts with the prefix, I was like, oh yeah, it's that episode. Yeah. <laughs> It's like Hogwarts. Good thing I have notes, but <laughs> good thing we have notes. Okay, so the episode starts with Derek and Ralph uh, throwing a football in the school hallway. It then pans to Emily going up to Casey at her locker, telling her that because of someone's suggestion in the suggestion box, Principal Lasseter is going to have prefects at the school now. Casey, of course, is ecstatic. And Emily quickly realizes it was Casey who put it in the suggestion box. Yeah, because she went to, like, private school or something, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like Hogwarts already <laughs> for her. But also, they're Hogwarts playing... Hogwarts AU. Yeah, Hogwarts AU. Okay, Hogwarts AU, Casey's obviously a Ravenclaw. <laughs> <laughs> Would Derek be Slytherin or Gryffindor? Probably one or the two. He's not everybody, loyal. What, everybody, what do you think? What what house would he be in? We'll put a poll up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but never do. Um, I'll do it right now. Live. Live poll right we'll now. Get, like, two people. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. They can I'm gonna put it for like a three week poll so they'll get to it in time by the time a it's released. Three week poll? You could do that? I said three week, but yes, 30. All right, poll. Whole length, we're gonna go. Uh, oh my god, like, can you give me? Oh, it only goes days. Fuck, okay, well, we're going a week. Uh, so like they're playing football in the in the hallway, and didn't Derek like and shit make fun of football? Say that again, doesn't like Derek and every like Derek makes fun of football and everything because he like hates it, right? I guess. He thinks it's fine for children because they're playing with the Nerf. They're playing with the Nerf one. So he's like, it's a children's sport. You know, like anyone can play it. Hockey, that's a man's sport. I can see him having that logic. Okay. 
Probably. <laughs> so yeah, Casey said that they did it at her old school and will look good on university applications if she becomes one. And at this very moment, Derek backs up into Casey as he catches the football. So of course she yells, Derek! at him. But he just tells her that she needs to wait until the play is over before entering the playing field. Then he winks at her and then walks away. I hate it. Who do you wink at your sister? (laughs) No, I do not. (laughs) Do you wink at your sister? No, neither my brother either. (laughs) I can't tell you if I've ever winked at anyone. I think the only time I've winked at someone is when I was trying to be like a sarcastic, like totally, totally noticeable wink that you're like, like wink, wink, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, you know, like yeah. <laughs> That's the only time I've never winked at someone in my life. And then Casey and Emily start walking away from the locker, and Casey said she hopes Lashner chooses her as a prefect because then maybe it would be safe to walk the halls without a helmet, and then. Right at this moment, she gets hit in the head with the football. It's like foam, so that shouldn't really hurt that badly, but still. And then I just get reminded of the Marsha Brady moment, even though she got hit in the head and Marsha got hit in the nose. But I are we talking like about Sure Jam? Huh? Sure Jam? No, Marsha Brady got hit in the in the nose with the football. Who's Marsha Brady? I thought it was the Brady Bunch. That's why I'm saying sure, Jan. But that doesn't have anything to do with it. I'm not old. I don't watch the Brady Bunch. I just know the meme of sure, Jan. You've never seen the thing like, ah, my nose. No. No. Well, he did it. Okay. And that's what happens. I'm younger than you and I know this pop culture stuff, all right? Listen, I'm too busy watching Top Gun 20 times. I can't. (laughs) I'm also too busy watching Little House on the Prairie. I'm sorry. That's even older than the freaking (laughs) Brady Bunch. Listen, I had two different friends text me saying they just started watching it and they love it. And I was like, yeah, of course you do. Okay. Anyway, but like, yeah, Casey's by far the like only choice you'd make for Prefect. Oh, yeah. She's the suitable choice. So then Casey obviously gets mad at Derek picks up the football to throw it at him, but he ducks, and it instead hits Mr. Lassiter, the principal. To which you should always suspect Derek, no matter what. The thing is, though, Lassiter never sees Derek do, like, anything. It must be, like, he must think, like, oh, wow, Derek really isn't that much of an issue at all. Like, he hears these horror stories, and then all of a sudden, like, Casey is just like, actually, it's that other kid in the family. (laughs) But, like, isn't it said that he's always gone to the principal's office? Like, he's always in trouble. Like, shouldn't I know, but so far, I think since we've seen, like, Lassiter in the show, Derek really hasn't done anything. Like, yeah. And then even the thing he was getting blamed for in that season, in that episode last season, didn't Casey actually do it? Like, putting his furniture up on the roof? Yeah. So it wasn't even Derek who did that prank, but he was taking, like, the fall for it. Mm. Casey's a bad egg. You know what? She's the real troublemaker. As we already know, she's a serial killer. So uh, Casey really has no luck with Lassiter. (laughs) So Casey immediately apologizes and says she wasn't meaning to hit him, which really isn't the best thing to say, but... (laughs) Like, I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> like, that's what happens in the hallways at high school. Let's be real. There's always something like this going on. Someone's in throwing something. Listen, I've said it. Maybe I've said it on the show. I feel like I had. I played, Ra- I played Red Rover in the hallway in high school. Red Rover? Yeah, you know, when you link arms and you're like, Red Rover, Red Rover, I call whoever over, and they try to run through your arms to break the link, but you're trying to hold them so they stay on your team. It seems familiar, but I I don't yeah. remember it. Like, in my elementary school, it was banned because someone broke an arm, but obviously in high school, that's different. I would have been so pissed at you guys if you were doing that in the hallway. 
Oh yeah, we took up the whole hallway. It was great. I would have ran got clotheslined guys trying to freaking break your arms that way. Yeah, a girl got clotheslined and it was hilarious. <laughs> Anybody preventing me from getting to class on time was This was me. lunch break, okay? <laughs> Even worse, I want to get the freaking lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So then Lassiter asks her, like, well, then who did you intend to hit? And Derek chooses this moment to come up and say that Casey should know better than to throw balls in the hallway. Being a little shit face. <laughs> He's the biggest shit face. I- yeah. <laughs> Lassiter agrees and then walks away. <laughs> Here's the real question. If you went to school with them, mm-hmm. would you think Derek's a shit face? Well, I think, again, he brings off this charm that everyone thinks is endearing. But if you're someone like Casey who knows him at, like, I think he would be a little shit face. I feel like he'd make fun of me, so I would hate him, I feel like. <laughs> I just well, feel yeah, like I'd be likely. bullied. I feel like I'd be bullied by him, so I don't like it. <laughs> Well, he doesn't seem like he bullies people per se. I just, I feel the vibe, okay? Well, feel the vibe. if we're talking about regular stereotypes and like he's a jock and shit, yes. But I just feel a vibe that I would be bullied. By Derek? You'd be bullied by Derek? I mean, I, I do play hockey, so he probably wouldn't. Probably wouldn't. But he'd probably be like, women's hockey is not a sport. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's cute. <laughs> Yeah. You don't hit in women's hockey? That's cute. No, but I'll 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 smack you right now, Derek. How about that? With a stick? Yes. <laughs> Listen, I got in a fight in hockey. I'm I'm even if it was women's hockey, I, I throat punch someone with a blocker. Holy. It was great. <laughs> I'm not afraid to fight someone if he was gonna try and bully me. So beware everyone in the comments. You bully me. <laughs> I'll fight back while I cry. (laughs) While you cry. While I cry. So in the blue screen, Casey admits that she'd like a little power so she could make people stop annoying her with the snap of her fingers. And as an afterthought, she said she tried to make the world a better place too. But that was very much like an afterthought. Like, oh, I'm sounding too much like a sociopath. Maybe she's like a dictator. A sociopathic dictator. She's power hungry. Oh, I would love to have all of the power to, uh, to 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 change to change the world to make it a better place. Peace, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. But really, not. She. Mm-hmm. That's what every dictator says. Mm-hmm. They're making the place a better place as they murder everyone. <laughs> History yes. dictates. Mm-hmm. Um. So we are now back at school, and Lassiter seems to be running an assembly, since he's in the auditorium talking to the students, saying there were many good candidates for the two prefect positions. Prefect. I hate that word. I hate it prefect? so much. Yes. It's a very English word. I remember when I first watched this episode, I had never heard a prefect before in my life. Listen, as someone who came from the Harry Potter fan base, it's a word constantly used. <laughs> But you know what? We don't stand that anymore. No. We do not. Well, I wasn't that big of a Harry Potter fan to begin with. I liked the movies and I read like four of the books. So, Oh, I am very in-depth into the Harry Potter fan fiction scene. Just saying. <laughs> but, um, but I, so it's not like it's a huge loss on my end. But <clears throat> I didn't know what a prefect was. And I was like, a, a perfect? What's a perfect? <laughs> <laughs> What's a perfect student? Like, what an American thing to say. Can't they just say they're like hall monitors? Like, what the hell? No, 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 no. Because they're trying to go off the, the private school vibe. Well, the private school vibe's stupid. I know it is. Private schools are dumb on principle. You, If you just like prefect, it's like, what the hell is that? Hall monitors, you're like, okay, it's someone who monitors the hall. Yeah. The fact that, like, I don't understand about this is because, like, they're giving out late slips to people who are late to class, but therefore they are late to class? Are they just exempt from being late? I guess they have special privileges because 
they're seen as good students. So that, well, Derek is no, clearly not a good student, therefore, no. vis-a-vis concordingly. Also, update on the poll. Someone voted. Oh, yeah. Derek is 100% Slytherin at this moment. With one vote. <laughs> yes. I didn't vote. I didn't vote. I want to put that out there. I don't know if you voted. <laughs> okay, so Lasseter said students who were responsible detail-oriented and know how to follow the rules everyone except casey is like yawning in boredom as he's saying this and then he's like nah uh the first one is gonna go to sheldon and casey mentioned to emily that her boyfriend is a prefect and emily says it's gonna be it's gonna go right to his head which i feel like it would go right to casey's head too yeah 100 percent, she would but like his hers would be like 100 percent a different one i feel like Maybe. I, she would just take everything so literal, and I feel like she'd be up Derek's ass trying to <laughs> Probably. And then as Sheldon goes up, he then proceeds to trip as he's going up onto the stage in excitement. Yeah. Of course, Sheldon is so clumsy. I mean, I feel like he, he was a good choice as well. Yeah, I don't Yeah, I don't think that's a bad choice whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um... He does, like, he won the presidency, or he was going to be a president in that one episode. Yeah, he was. He he tried to do it. So, I mean, it just made, like, he just seemed like a good student, and he follows the rules. So, I, yeah, that, that choice is definitely on par with what he was talking about. I also think that, like, if you're going to do, like, the hall monitor prefectship, you shouldn't just do two boys. You should have one of each, you know? Like a girl and a guy. Oh, yeah. That's true, too. Well, basically, in the early 2000s, I don't think they gave a shit about this. (laughs) But also, no, but, like, I'm thinking of, like, power dynamics here. It's not good. Well, that's true. That's that's true. Um, I also think, like, what if someone, they catch someone that's, like, running running away from them, and they go into the bathroom... You can get the other hall monitor. Right. Also, I'm thinking very like Law & Order SVU vibes right now when I am said power dynamic, so I apologize. <laughs> I apparently just go like the most radical route in my thoughts for these things. <laughs> I'm like, they're gonna do something bad if it's just men. <laughs> but um, going back to Sheldon tripping up the stage... I I find it so interesting that Emily tries so hard to be so cool, mm-hmm. but she is best friends with the loser. It's the very people she wants to be little. Yeah, she's a loser. Like she's like, oh my god, they like, uh, uh, but you're dating him, and then you're like, oh uh, oh uh, oh oh my god, but oh you're my best friend. Like it's just like I don't know. It's We've just... already discussed this. Emily's a two faced bitch. This is, like, episode one territory we're going back to. So, Lassiter then says, for the prefect number two, it's a student he has come to know very well. And then Casey asks Tinker, who is sitting next to her, that, like, you talk to Lassiter, right? And then uh, Tinker nods and says, if Lassiter doesn't pick him, he hopes he picks Casey. To which Casey smiles at. Tinker asks her if she wants to hold hands for good luck, and but she just quickly turns away, disgusted. <laughs> Poor Tinker, but also he's creepy too. It's sad both ways. Like I, I, I want to feel bad for him, but he could be very creepy. <laughs> yeah, he seems like a nice dude, but some nice dudes are not nice dudes. And then Lasseter announces that the second prefect is none other than Derek Venturi. To which everyone looks around, confused, Derek included. <laughs> like, it's not possible, like... But also, what didn't they have, like, a bank of people who wanted to be a prefect? So why are you making a student who didn't want to be one, be one? That's the thing, like, I know you're, you're going for a route for this show. Like, obviously, you're forcing the issue. But a principal knows who is a good student and who isn't there's like teachers say shit 
people know. You don't pick Derek. Well, I think he's taking it more or less like he's a, he's he has a lot of influence. So it's Still. just like if they think Derek will like uh, follow the rules, then like they'll follow the rules. Like no. he thinks like he can pigeonhole him in that way, and yeah. then like in a part he does because for a second he gets really into it, but. But that's because he's just trying to like poke fun at Casey and be like lord over her with like ha I'm this. He doesn't. Yeah, really... But he even does it towards his friends too. Like he's like but that's Guy, because you gotta he's... stop. That's because he was right there with them. Like well, but still, like he did have some of an influence. Like he did stuff he wouldn't have normally done because he was a prefect. But still, but it's still not a good excuse for putting someone like Derek into a role like that because you're just setting them up to fail and like for everything to be even worse i hate it this is not good story construction in the hallways so i hate it so we are now at the mcdonald venturi home the family's having dinner casey is stabbing her food quite violently um serial killer casey vibes <laughs> very angry <laughs> while looking at Derek <laughs> so she has a target <laughs> she wants to murder him we all know this she asked Derek if he's going to share his good news and Derek says no very smugly no it's getting under Casey's skin and Edwin asks if he passed the test and Derek glares and Edwin says it was just a joke Casey says a better joke is that her principal chose Derek to be one of the school prefects everyone around the table laughs because obviously they can't believe it obviously and then marty asks what a prefect is and that's the question i think everyone needed to hear at least me american girl <laughs> american girl are you a, you're an american girl american girl Nora says it's a student that helps the principal keep order around the school. And Marty says it sounds like Casey, like no shit. Um, and Lizzie chimes in, and definitely not Derek. So then Derek says that's why he's not going to do it. And Casey says good, since he already influences too many kids to follow his bad example. So who knows what he'd do with real authority. So of course, since Casey said that... Derek then says, that's an interesting thought, and maybe he should rethink this. So Casey then says that he shouldn't think at all, like usual. <laughs> yeah. And Derek said Thompson High has been so good to him that maybe he should give back. Then Casey, in like a panic, is like, no, don't give back. You keep on taking. Yeah. George then chimes in and says that this might actually be good for Derek to do. To have some responsibility. Casey is having a meltdown. And even Nora says she thinks it might be good for Derek too. Like you think he's actually take values from it? Yeah. It's a good idea. He ain't doing shit that's going to enrich himself. Well it's just this is like every time they do give Derek some responsibility. What does he do with it? He fucks up. Yeah. <laughs> like they, they let them stay. Um, stay home alone. And what do they do? They throw a party. He throws a party. And like there's just there has to be a point where they realize he's a lost cause with responsibility, right? I mean, even in the Life with Luca movie, he's still like not that responsible. I feel like his daughter is his handler. Yeah. She literally <laughs> makes him breakfast. And, like, <laughs> packs his luggage. He's... Okay, he's me. <laughs> <laughs> he's me. <laughs> so then, Casey then says she's gonna lie down, and she jogs to the stairs. But then Derek yells, back, uh, yells at her, Hey, no running in the house! Because, again, he's gotta be a little shit. Yeah. So, next scene shows Edwin, Marty, and George watching TV in the living room. Edwin asks George when they can watch wrestling, and George says whenever Marty goes to bed. He looks at his watch and says, which should be right now. 
However, Marty asked for 10 more minutes. No. Yeah, Marty's like, no. And then her bedtime was a half an hour ago, but Marty still pleads and George gives in. I hate, I hate, I hate this type of like parenting slash behavior so much. Mm -hmm. Like they let the little kids do whatever they want, basically. Or like the favorite. Oh, but you know what? This like, I, this happened to me though. And like, oh, you're the favorite. I, like, my parents were like, oh, like, you have a bedtime, let's just say it was, like, 9 o'clock or whatever. I had to be upstairs, ready to go to bed by 9 o'clock. And I did that because I was a good child. <laughs> now, my siblings, I was, I, I was such a good kid. My parents were so lucky to have me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but my brother and sister, who are... Um, they're four and seven years younger than me. They should have been going to bed even earlier than me. And they didn't. It would be like 10 o'clock at night and they'd still be downstairs. And I'd be like, when are you going to bed? Like, it seemed like they didn't even have a bedtime. And here I was sticking to my nine o'clock. And then I didn't not. And then like, I literally went to my parents. It was like, can I stay up a little bit later? These the, the other kids seem like they are. It's horrible. And so they were like, oh, okay. You go a little bit later. Horrible. But it was just like, what? What are you setting up for Marty now? She's going to grow up and expect everyone to fall in line. In a way. Yeah. She's going to be like Derek. <laughs> Ugh. Can you imagine a female Derek? <laughs> Disgusting. But yeah, I mean, that's essentially the road she's being paved. Like, you know. So anyway, it is then the next morning and Casey comes running out of her bedroom in a rush since she's late. She sees Edwin and Lizzie waiting in line to go to the bathroom, but she asks if she can go in first. But Lizzie says no, not according to the schedule that Derek posted on the door. So Derek puts himself... At like 7.45. And he can be in there for 25 minutes. I just don't know why <laughs> this is a thing. Right. Like, I know he's. it's because he's like, I'm a homeowner. Ha ha ha. But the fact that it's he's like trying to use it at home, which is dumb. Right. It's like, and the it's fact that he's at the next level of like, yeah. What the hell are you doing? And then the parents are just like, oh, yeah, that's cool. That's fine. That's fine. Good practice. Like. This this can't go wrong in any shape or form, you know? Okay, uh, it's just like writing that I'm just like, my brain. Yeah, it, it's a little bit too hard to believe that like that would actually happen. But anyway, so Derek can be in there for like 25 minutes. And then it goes Edwin, Marty, Lizzie, and then Casey, who all have 10 minute increments. Um, I wanted to ask, when did your school start in the morning for high school? Like. Oh, it's, I feel like it's like eight or nine. Really? Because I would have to get up at like 530 in the morning. And then I'd have to catch the bus like quarter after six. And then our homeroom, like we would get to school around like a little bit after seven. Yeah, it was nine. I think it was nine. Yeah, my day started at like 730. But like... The like class, like class would start. My first class would start at seven forty-five. So, as he's putting himself in the in the bathroom, I would have been in school already. <laughs> like eight nine o'clock starts were for like the middle school, elementary school kids. No, like high school got to school really early. <clears throat> I think it was like eight thirty or nine for my high school. And then, like, you'd finish at, like, th and then you'd finish at, like, 3. We would finish at 2.15. Yeah, so you'd be, like, 8.39. You'd finish at 3.3.30, I think. If I, it's, it's been, like, that 20 was, like, years. That elementary school schedule. <laughs> like, it's been, like, 20 years, so I'm trying to remember. But then you'd have, you'd have, like, extra class sometimes. Like, you'd have a class that would go to, like, 4.30. No. Yeah, that's I had like a bio class like every Wednesday. We always had the same classes like for the most part. 
Oh yeah, we didn't change schedule. Oh no, like this was a, a weird thing, like because I I never went to normal high school apparently because I didn't have like semesters where you change class to the next semester like you see like in every fucking show or movie on TV. Mm-hmm. We didn't really have too much of that. Only, like, maybe, like, one class of your whole schedule would change. Yeah, so, like, the most I had of that was when I went to an English school in a French province. And, <laughs> and like, they did, like, the semester switch, but you had the same schedule. It just, like, your last class became your first class, and the schedule flipped upside down. So that's the most I had of it. But, like, at my actual high school I graduated from, it was, like, 8.30 to 9 start, and then you finish at 3, 3.30. I forget which one it was. And then, like, depending on the class, it's, like, like I said, I had bio one year that went to, like, 4.30. But, like, in grade 12, I had, like, Tuesdays where we'd have gym till 4.30. It was just, like, a random thing, like a scheduling thing. It was weird. I don't understand it, but classes went late sometimes. No, our days always ended at the same time, no matter what you had. Yeah. So, yeah, you went to a weird freaking school. I went to French (laughs) school, okay? Like, I can speak French. French. (laughs) It's not not fucking French. Then you're going to have people from France being like, my school isn't like that. (laughs) No, no, I'm I'm talking about, this is fucking Canada French. Canadian French people are freaking weird. (laughs) Yeah. It's true. They, everyone hates us, and I'm like, "Eh." So, Casey then says that Derek is a school prefect, not a house prefect. Fact. Which is what you were saying. Fact. And bangs on the bathroom door. She turns to Edwin and asks if he could switch with her. Edwin says all schedule changes have to be cleared with Derek. Uh, So, as Derek comes out of the bathroom, Casey asks what he's trying to pull. And Derek says if she has a complaint, to put it in his suggestion box, which is just a trash can. (laughs) It's funny, though. (laughs) It's clever. <laughs> Just as Edwin is about to go into the bathroom for his turn, however, Casey pushes him past him and goes in instead. Which I feel like Edwin had to realize that was going to happen anyway. <laughs> yeah. And then Marty then comes up and says she has to really use the bathroom. So Casey opens the door for Marty when, you know, the other two are still waiting outside having to use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure you have another bathroom you can go to. Well, that's the thing. There's one, I'm assuming, downstairs where George and Nora are. Mm-hmm. But they're probably using that themselves. Probably? But they've probably been awake for a while. And I don't think there's one on the main floor. No, no. I'm like, I feel like there probably is, but it's like on the side thing. We don't know. We don't know the full blueprints to the house. We see like... The stairs, the living room, kitchen. We don't know what's around any nook and cranny. But I still don't think that there is a bathroom because they never bring it up at all. Like, no one's ever just, like, in there. Because they need the chaos. They need the chaos. chaos. But in a house that size, there has to be at least a downstairs bathroom. Well, I don't know. (laughs) I think it's just they don't. So, Lizzie asks, how can she just do that? And Edwin says the same way she's able to stay up late. Her superpower, super cuteness. It's true. So Lizzie and Edwin are getting fed up. <laughs> like, to be fair, I would get fucking mad too. Oh, yeah. You don't, you hate it when, like, your siblings are, like, seen as, like, a favorite. Oh, pff, as someone who is not the favorite, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we all very much rotate around oh well, not my favorite. family my sister was the golden goose my mom swears she doesn't have a favorite and like i don't really oh my mom my mom there's no favorite but for my dad she was the golden goose it's like a fact in this family my sister's like i just realized how fucked up this is i'm like yeah welcome to my life <laughs> so i feel this this episode for like the b story Mm-hmm. I felt it. So, next, we're then at school. Casey is evidently still running late as she rounds the corner of the hall, and no one else is around except Derek. He tells her she's late, and Casey blames it on him for hogging the bathroom. He then proceeded to give her a slip, 
that is a warning, saying if she's late again or in the hall without a pass, she'll get detention. Casey says he can't do that, but Derek says he has to since it's his job, which is probably right. Like he's yeah, but <laughs> yeah. Casey then bunches up the slip and throws it at Derek, and Derek yells littering at her while grinning. But like, if she was the prefect. I could see her doing exactly this if Derek came in late. Oh, yeah. It's just like, you, yeah, Derek's probably hamming this up and making it seem like a bigger thing than it is, but it is technically his job. Yeah. He came in late, he gives you a slip, and it's like a warning slip even, so she's not even getting anything. Yeah, like, it's the drama. This is a drama series. Next scene shows Sheldon walking down the hallway. He takes a student's basketball, though the student was just holding it. Did you notice that? Yeah. Like, he wasn't even dribbling it or whatever. He was just holding it. (laughs) And then, like, he takes another student's hat right off his head, though he does give that back. He just, like, kind of gives it to him. But it's like, in my head, you weren't allowed to wear hats in class. Yeah, exactly. But they never made a thing about it being, like, you can't wear them in the hallway. Yeah, no, that's... Even then, like, I always wore a hat in class until I was told to take the hat off. You're such a rebel. I mean, I told you, I'm Derek. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay. He then goes to Derek's locker, asking if he's memorized the prefect handbook yet. Um, at first, Derek thinks he's kidding, but, like, of course Sheldon isn't. Sheldon says he has some ideas for additions and wants to run them by Derek. Derek suggests that they have free access to the snack machines, and Selden says, yeah, and Sheldon says they don't get any special treatment. So then Derek's like, what are we doing this for? Exactly, <laughs> don't right? Get special treatment. And Sheldon says to make the school better. But also, can you imagine what it would have been like if it was Sheldon and Casey? Oh, it'd be horrible. Because, <laughs> like, this is, a, I could hear her saying exactly this. And it would just been, like, chaos of order. But at the same time, at the same time, I want to say she wouldn't be overboard. Like, she would, 100%. But, like, (laughs) but not like, oh, you're carrying that basketball? That's a write-up. I feel like it would be actual things that she would go after. Maybe, maybe. Maybe she just did that to, like, Derek, but... I think she'd be like, oh, you're late? Done. I don't think she'd do any of the fucking weird, like, oh, are you- Go out of her way to be a dick. Are are you breathing right now? (laughs) Detention. I don't think she would do that. Yeah, Sheldon was doing shit like that, where it's just like, what? Are you changing oxygen into (laughs) CO2? (laughs) Detention. So in the background, Ralph and Sam are throwing their football again. Sheldon points them out, saying that they're breaking the no-throw-stuff rule. He offers to go over there and talk, but Derek says no, he'll do it. So Derek goes over to his friends, intercepting the football. He then tells them that they have to play outside because Sheldon is giving him a hard time. Ralph and Sam laugh, not believing him. What? Sheldon, like, you actually think... I don't... I feel like Derek wouldn't care if Sheldon was giving him a hard time you know that's the thing like why would Sheldon like why does he have this influence over him exactly it's just not It'd believable be like Sheldon, just just like chill dude but like no he like makes it feel like he has this like influence over him exactly Sheldon then comes up asking if there's a problem <laughs> bro he you think he's like I'm so tough he's like i'm so tough now that i have this badge he's like every cop in america right now (laughs) i said it i got this badge gotta listen to me derek says no and doubles down on sam and ralph saying if they get caught doing it again he'll recommend detention ralph snaps his fingers in front of derek telling him to snap out of it but derek merely says that the rules are rules and ralph and Sam leave dumbfounded and confused. What happened to their friend? What if it was like a Freaky Friday scenario? It's like, did they? Oh did my they god! Hasn't there been a 
story like that? I feel like there's a Freaky Friday story someone wrote. If not, someone should write a Freaky Friday story because that would be fantastic. Like, Derek and Casey switch bodies. What's that one movie? I, oh, I, I, I know. Mean, it's a boy-girl thing, I think yeah. it's called? Let's, let's Google. It's... Oh, I wrote... <laughs> it's, I know, I know the guy from Bud. Air Bud was in it. Yeah, exactly. Kevin Zegler is that his name? That's the it's 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 Kevin Zegers. Okay, I knew something Kevin Z something. Yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, it is a hundred percent. It's a boy girl thing. And where's the life for Derek fanfic? <laughs> Does it exist? Because they were like. They like they kind of had like similar personalities to like life um to life with Derek. They do. Oh my god! Anyone who hasn't seen this movie, watch it and then be like, "Oh, I get it," and then go write the story, <laughs> and then tell us so we can promote it, and then we can go read the story. Just saying. <laughs> Ashley, write the story. No. <laughs> I don't feel like it. So, back at the house, family is eating dinner. Derek is saying he's still very hungry, and maybe it's because he's power hungry. And then he's like, nope, I already got all the power. Which, he's a prefect. And this is how he feels over, like, being a prefect. I don't know, it's just... I'm so sorry. I just clicked on the the photo, the video thing for it, and the slogan for it is "He's trying to get out of her pants." <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line. That's, That's a good, good line. tagline. It's good. It's a good tagline for the movie. So yeah, it's a boy girl thing. It's 2006. Whoever wrote that, top notch. Top notch. Pay your writers. Pay your writers, because that's top-notch right there. Oh, man, I'm gonna watch this movie later. Oh, man. <laughs> I know, I haven't watched it in, like, almost 15 years. It's so funny. Like, whenever it first came out, I think that's when I watched it. In 2006, you were a child. I was just starting high school. <laughs> you were a child. It came out in 2006? Yeah, I just looked. <laughs> okay, then I didn't watch it until a couple years later. So yeah, I don't but... I think I watched it when I was like in grade eleven for the first time. I think I watched it just as I like graduated high school. So it's probably around the front. But yeah. Go watch it, people. Go get a laugh. Casey asks if she can be excused since she doesn't want to be in Derek's presence. And Derek says he'll leave too since he has prefect reports to file. I really want to know what if he's actually doing that or not. <laughs> Marty then asks if she can leave too, but George says she has to eat the Brussels sprouts on her plate first. George even tries to bargain and just says one, but Marty says she liked to, but she can't. So George gives in and gave her leftovers to Edward. <laughs> I hate this. Like, I hate this. I, 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 I feel for this B story. As I said, I, that was my life. Mm-hmm. And then Nora then asks Lizzie to clean the table. So after the parents leave, Lizzie admits that Marty has super cute powers. And Edwin wonders why they can't get away with stuff like Marty. And if they are cute too. Which Lizzie says of course they are. But they just don't use it. But again, a cute 10 year old is different than a cute 5 year old. It's like, you know, there could be a cute dog. But if you see a cute poppy, it's different. Same thing with kitten and a cat. Like, they're just, they have the bigger eyes and, like, the innocence. And you just feel like you need to protect them and give them the whole world. But when they get older, you're like, ah, shut up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back at school again, students are scraping stickers and gum off lockers. And the whole mood is very depressing and bleak. Of course, Derek is talking to a girl as they're doing this, saying he doesn't seem he doesn't see himself as a prefect, but more like a soldier defending the halls of injustice. Okay, that's what soldiers do, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is not what. Okay, let's see. I had to defend a hallway once. Let's be real, but that's because there was a shooting and happened uh, like 
in Ottawa and people died. So like everything was on lockdown and across Canada. So I had to guard a hallway that led to the door into the building. It was fine. <laughs> I checked IDs. It was fine. And I went, oh yeah, you can be here. You, you can't be here. Go away. Like they should have had the military police do that, but they're like, you do it. And I was like, all right. I am so intimidating. The people can't see, but I look so intimidating right now. <laughs> Very much not so. <laughs> my 5'3 stature is very intimidating. He then tells the students cleaning the hallway to clean his locker afterwards. Casey comes up to him and says he can't make them do that and that he's abusing his power. He says he can since defying a prefect results in detention. So Casey grabs a trash can and dumps it over Derek's head, asking how many detentions will that get her? Why does she think this is a good idea, for one? And two, was that a lobster claw on Derek's head? Who is eating lobster at school? Is Nora still making their lunches? <laughs> I mean, I would love to have lobster in my lunch. I don't like lobster or anything like that. You don't like seafood. You're from Philadelphia or Pennsylvania? <laughs> oh! No class. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you no class! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No class. You think people who created yes. the Philly cheesesteak <laughs> have class? <laughs> Actually, it's so good. So good. I love Philly cheesesteaks. Holy fuck. Constantly being like jealous if I have a ch uh, Philly cheesesteak. And she's like, oh, I'm always jealous. <laughs> what do I have? I have poutine, but that's a country thing. <laughs> Even then you're like, disgusting. So, of course, Lassiter sees Casey do this to Derek and says that it would probably be a week's worth of detention, which Derek agrees. Sam and Ralph are walking down the hallway when they see Derek at his locker. They turn around to go the other way, but Derek sees them and calls out to them. Sam asks Ralph, who is it? Uh, Ralph says it looks like Derek, sounds like Derek, and even smells like Derek. Ralph asks if they're going to get detention for walking too slow. And Derek says that he has to act serious in front of Sheldon, and that he'll never give them detention. He says he's deep undercover, and that he's giving them the opportunity to practice in the cafe every Friday. Which, I wish they would have made this a more obvious thing in the beginning. Yeah, because it doesn't give you, like, any... Because, like, oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a narc. Um, 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 I'm getting us a special thing in the cafeteria. Now in detention, the teacher is writing the rules on the board. Also, detention is just 30 minutes. But some of the rules are no talking or moving. Like, I get the no talking rule, but no moving? As the teacher leaves, which, like, why are they leaving? Aren't they supposed to, like, look after the students that are in detention? I don't know. Like, have you been in detention before? Yes, but no. I don't think they were ever true detentions. Like, my class was being disruptive. So he kept the whole class after school for, like, 15 minutes. That was, like, the, your, your detention? That's, like, the only time you've had detention? Okay, I've had detention once. And I even then, I'm like, is this detention? It was like, I forgot. I didn't do my history project or my science project or something. So they're like, detention. And I was like, okay, you have to stay until you finish it. And I was like, cool, let me just print out this image. And then I was done. <laughs> so I'm like, is this what detention is like? Me, I, like? I don't like know. What detention should be at least like, it's like you're in a room after school when you should supposed to be like obviously going home and relaxing and all that stuff and you just sit in silence like that's a punishment to me. That's essentially what we did in my like it was my math class when I was in like 10th grade. So you know that was on par for what I always envisioned it to be it just that it wasn't anything official. Though, in my head, I'm like, did I really have to even be there? Because I don't think it was official. <laughs> As the teacher leaves, Casey then talks to Tinker. Casey is already breaking rules. But Tinker, who is there 
I guess because he tried to talk to Lassiter about her again. But I guess Lassiter was like, shut up, Tinker, you're being annoying. Go to detention. I don't think you can do that, but okay. Casey then tries to reassure him that at least it's only for a day. But Tinker says he volunteered for the whole week. Which, again, creepy. <laughs> which causes Casey to reasonably believe which causes Casey to reasonably be uncomfortable. Emily then walks in saying she now has company, saying that they added a no public display of a def- Yeah, I can't talk today. Are you okay? Do you need me to read? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys, get ready. Oh my god, this is the premiere of me <laughs> reading. I'll probably give up a sentence in. Oh, you okay. lost your place? Okay, where were we now? You, where were you reading? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I wasn't the reading. I could keep up when I wasn't reading. So where were you so we can... Uh, okay. <clears throat> Get ready for my narrator voice. <laughs> it's <is> hard. <laughs> I haven't even said anything and I'm like, going to laugh at myself. <laughs> Okay. Emily then walks in saying she now has company, saying that they added a no public displays of affection rule. So Sheldon gave her detention for trying to kiss him, which Emily says she's not his girlfriend anymore because of that. So, yeah, which I don't that, like, I feel like that's a good thing to say. That's a good uh, consequence. Yeah, I feel like school's already in a way didn't allow kids to just fucking make again, out at like, school it's sheldon going overboard like i don't think her just trying to give him like a little peck on the cheek or lips would be would be like bad but like full-on yeah maybe uh, yeah i out. think that's yeah, I fine don't think any school would really want that but i don't think that's a thing but that's what it seems like he's like this is what's gonna happen no detention Casey then says that they have to get Lassiter. I can't even say this guy's lame. Lassiter. Lassiter. Oh my god. To catch Derek in the act of abusing his powers. I'm just gonna like (laughs) stop when the principal's names pops up so you can say the name. (laughs) Okay. Emily asks how long that would take. Casey then says if Tinker is willing, he very eagerly interjects. Well, if Tinker is willing. Yes. Uh, Yes. Yes, I'll do it. I'll do it. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. He's, I don't know if you can tell, guys, but he's in love with Casey. Really? <laughs> Back at the house, Edwin <laughs> Edwin and Lizzie are playing video games as one does. That's what I do, anyway. That's what I would be doing if I wasn't recording this. Well, we could have done it earlier, but you just didn't want to. I will, I will cut you. <laughs> Nora and George says, that's enough. Lizzie, (laughs) yeah, that's enough, Ashley. Stop it. Uh, Lizzie and Edwin then try being cute to Nora and George. Also, that was, I hate that. Politely asking them if they can keep playing and calling them mommy and daddy. (laughs) I know, the internet ruined that. Like, oh my god. And they're like, but daddy! Daddy! And you're just like, "Um." And I was like, I was like, do not. But also, at the same time, he, like, George... As it says here, George says, nice try, but go do your homework. And Nora agrees. Like, Right, exactly. Just do that to your other child. Uh, the kids then say that was a test and they failed. And they tell them that they let no- uh, Nora play. And Marty play them like a violin. True. True. George says that as a parent, as parents get older, they get more mellow with the younger ones. No. Nah. I don't know. I mean, I definitely think the first kids are like the ones you trial run everything on because you don't know. But so they might be a little more strict because they think that's what they need to do when like, but then they get a little older and you're like, okay, so maybe we didn't have to be that strict. But see, like everyone I know, it's like the middle child or the younger child that got fucked with the rules. And the first child, they learned from their mistakes and were like, oh, yeah, we need to buckle down more on the other kids sort of thing. That's how it was in my family anyway. Because, as you know, I am not the golden goose. They point out that <laughs> that they, that what, what did you spell here? They point out that they if they <laughs> what did you write here? 
<laughs> this is why you can't read. They point out that if they keep letting Marty get away with this, you know what she'll end up being like as a teenager. Derek. So they didn't learn their lesson. Oh! Oh, what a thought! <laughs> okay, back at school. To Marty's future. Tinker goes up to Derek. Derek immediately says that he doesn't know where Casey is. False. Tinker says that he found something in the bathroom that he wants him to ha- wants him to have drugs. They're selling drugs at this school now. Right. <laughs> Derek looks unsure, but asks what it is. It gives him an envelope of money. Kids don't have money in high school. Get out of here. This is great. This is a whole other show with me reading. Derek asks... <laughs> Derek asks and he's trying to bribe him and very loudly says so other students can hear him that he's not taking a bribe. (laughs) Tinker tries to force Derek to take it, but he won't. The envelope drops to the floor and a random student runs away with it. As you should. We then see Casey under the stairs videotaping the whole thing. I love how inconspicuous that is. I'm under the stairs with a video camera so inconspicuous there's probably a reason why she hasn't really killed anyone yet she can't actually stalk them properly yeah that's something that she keeps having to like practice learn yeah at detention again but now with more students there one for having a tuna sandwich tuna sandwiches are delicious so rude i was gonna have one today but then i was too lazy to make a tuna sandwich but also you realize you don't like seafood no i'll eat tuna and fish sticks so you'll 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 eat the chicken of the sea which is tuna and fish sticks the most childish thing ever hey uh okay uh one for study maybe steps that are never going to evolve it's true (laughs) Uh, one also is in detention for studying in the halls, and one for not saluting. Again, why would you? What is this, someone? America? America? We pledge allegiance to the flag, <laughs> not by saluting. But <laughs> I mean, that's what they do now in my world. Tinker admits that one of the detentionees mentioned that Derek was talking about D Rock rehearsals in the cafe after school today. But also, like, why would you? have rehearsals at school i don't know why that would be like a thing either but i guess because it's like a forbidden place like that's what's cool about it i don't know listen i seen freaky friday and you do that shit in the garage (laughs) so your mom can then turn off the breaker power to the garage and it's all dramatic so get it together Derek. Okay. Casey tells Tinker that she could kiss him. And of course, Tinker has a mini freak out and says like, okay. (laughs) But Casey tells him it's an expression, which yes, you think he would know that by now. He's an adult. Not really. He's a teenager, almost adult. Uh, Emily asks if she's going to tell Lassiter. And Casey says they should actually tell her (laughs) ex-boyfriend. This is great teamwork. (laughs) Presumably, it is now after school. Derek is in the hallway and Lassiter comes up to him and to tell him he's doing a fantastic job. <laughs> tells him not to work too hard, especially since it's a Friday. Derek tells him he has some paperwork he has to finish and he hates to leave things incomplete. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lassiter. <laughs> you have one job. Sorry. I Sorry. I expect you to say this fucked up name. Anyway. Fucked <laughs> up. In action, say the name. Lass it her. Says he's a perfect <laughs> prefect. If there ever was one and leaves for the weekend. As Lassiter <laughs> leaves, Derek goes to his locker to get out of his guitar. Don't judge me for my lack of being able to say things. I can't say things. Not like, not, I can't even say that. (laughs) See, you can't make fun of me. Back at the house, the whole family, minus Derek and Casey, are in front of the TV watching something. So, like, you're at detention. You have band practice. It's like, 
still three o'clock, but the family, the whole family, they're back from work. I know, even Nora and like George makes they sense. They have really great jobs with their home. Oh, yeah. Then. Oh, yeah. Being a lawyer, you get to go home whenever you want. For sure. That's when you're at the mall. Remember, he works at like the strip mall lawyer. Remember that. George then asks Marty if she cleaned up her room like he asked. Of course not. Marty says that this is her favorite show that they're all watching together. They're all what? Were they watching Blue's Clues together? But I'm I'm assuming it's something like that. They're watching like Blue's Clues and like Dora the Explorer together. <laughs> uh, so she can do it later. Can she do it later? No. Do it now. George says no and sh- shuts off the TV, saying that she has to do it now. Marty starts acting like she's going to cry. Edwin tells him to do tough love, that he can do it. George is firm and tells her she has to do it now. Marty being Marty, who's a clone of Derek. So I feel like Derek was like this as well as a child. And Marty throws a tantrum and runs under the table, as you do. <laughs> saying that she's going to stay there forever since they are mean to her. Lizzie even says to her, watch. Let's, what, what, what? <laughs> Yeah, like, I, that's what I didn't understand. Like, even after all of that, then Lizzie's like, oh, let her watch. But, like, Edwin says he has to stay firm. Yeah, like, as Marty we should. Marty continues to say stuff that further guilt everyone. She says random shit. She's like, it's so dark under here. Right. Like, well, bitch, you put yourself under there. <laughs> it's not even dark. It's, what the fuck? All right. So she continues to say stuff that further guilts everyone to the point that Edwin says to have a heart, but George is adamant. Yeah, I hate when people guilt trip. Like, yeah. If the, if she would have been like, oh, it's so dark down here. I mean, like, oh, you want to know dark? And then I would have shut the rest of the lights off and like yeah. close the curtains. Like, see you later, Marty. I would have been like, oh, you know where there's light in your room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> Uh, but then eventually both parents break and George lets her watch Blue's Clues again and clean her room later. I hate it. Back at school, Derek and his friends are in the cafe getting ready to start the rehearsals. Again, it's so dumb that they're like, yo, school just out. Let's go to the cafeteria. No one's gonna know. Not even the janitor or the lunch crew. It was already a set for that episode, so they were like, we gotta use it again. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, okay, we got... Ha- when did they have time to bring a drum set up there? <laughs> yeah, when did he get there? Could you imagine, like, him just, like, lugging all this to, like... It's so dumb! Or did they just steal something from, like, the band room? No, it has D-Rock on it, doesn't it? I think. Either way, they're gonna see them going through the hallways with a fucking drum set. But just there as they are getting started, Casey and Emily are pushing Sheldon into the cafe. The cafe. Why are you saying cafe? It's a cafeteria. Well, then say cafeteria. Yeah, but I'm thinking like a coffee shop when you say cafe. I'm thinking like some. I don't French, know why like, I put cafe place. either. Maybe because they said they said it was a cafe. I don't know. I know it's cafeteria. Every Get time it I'm reading together. it too, I'm like, why the hell did I write cafe? <laughs> I know. Saying he needs to see something. Sheldon turns around and sees D Rock on stage tells him it's an unauthorized assembly but it's not an assembly and asking him well, what he's assembly thinking of people but it's it's not an, like i mean it's technically an assembly Derek says that sheldon should play with d-rock because that's obviously the first thing that comes to your head when you're in trouble be in my band sheldon obviously flattered and flustered says he couldn't even because he doesn't have his pan flute which if you could pay the pan flute you're fire you're cool but he does have his pipes. <laughs> and Casey's like, come on! <laughs> Another plan of hers foiled. I thought he was going to pull out bagpipes when he said that. Oh my god. <laughs> Sheldon stumbles on stage once again and goes to the microphone and says, this song is for Emily. Bitch, she should have walked away. Like, she should have just been like, like ex-boyfriend, no. And then walked away, yeah. He starts singing with the guys who look less than thrilled. It's true. Derek's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Casey is annoyed because he was supposed to turn Derek in and not join the band. She's just jealous because she wants to be in the band. Emily goes, I know. But then the next beat says he's great, isn't he? She's all starstruck because she's this two-faced bitch. <laughs> Casey admits that he is great, though, but he's, he's not bad. They are right. He's not bad. 
However, Lassiter soon comes into the cafeteria with Tinker behind him. He calls out both prefects and Sam and Ralph run away because they can uh, and they don't get in trouble. Lassiter says they have stained the name of prefects and they are terminated immediately. Name one prefect that you know. I I can't because I don't know any. <laughs> Hermione Granger. Oh, was she? I had no idea. Percy Weasley. <laughs> anyway, Casey is all smug until Master tells Casey and Emily that if they enjoy D Rock so much, they will certainly enjoy detention. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was burn! That was it was a good burn. That was good. I liked it. It is now another day, and Derek and Casey, Sheldon, and Emily are all in detention. Sheldon and Emily have seemed to have made up, and they are now back together, which I would have been like, no, bitch, go away. <laughs> Casey is in front while Derek is toward the back, because that's what cool kids do. Sit in the back. Unless you're blind and you have to see the board, so you sit in the front. Or you have hearing d- tr- troubles like I did, so you try to sit as close. <sighs> or it's just perfect. We're perfect, but I had my eyes fixed. You just need to get your ears fixed, and then it will be perfect. You get hearing aids. That's how you fix them. Yeah, but that's not cheap either. It's true. America. Am I right? (laughs) Casey asks Derek if he's sad about his fall from grace. Derek says, what fall? News of his underground concert put his coolness through the roof. There was no concert! (laughs) Like, I don't... I, I guess because, like, you know, it's like, oh, did you hear Derek, like, through? Like, but again, like, why is it underground? Like, the cafeteria isn't underground. Why is it? Because it's like, it was like, undercover. I don't know. Like, I don't understand that. It's not like he did it in the basement. Like, that- <laughs> they're trying to be Radio Free Roscoe too much. Don't they get it? They're not RFR. All right. Casey says that she can't even stand to be in detention with him. Tinker then comes into the drawery wearing a prefect button and says she has to be quiet, that he can't play favorites. There you go. That's how you do the prefect job, Derek. Back at the house, Marty asks George where Casey and Derek are. George says that they broke the rules. How do they know? Oh, wait, it's a new day. I know. Sometimes it's not as obvious. (laughs) It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Uh, They broke the rules, so they are now in detention at that when they get home, they'll be grounded. Why? They didn't do anything bad, but well, okay. Casey at least didn't do anything bad. I don't know. Like, again. Derek did an underground concert, but Apparently. <laughs> apparently. Marty then asks why she doesn't get grounded when she breaks the rules. Shut up. Yeah, like, why would you ever ask that? Like, that's so stupid. Yeah, shut up. Derek says because Derek says fucking Derek would say the same thing. George says because he's his little girl. Shut up. (laughs) Marty says that that's not fair. And then she wants to be a big kid like Casey and Derek. Then fucking go clean your room, bitch. (laughs) But like, this is what I was saying, though, with the life with Luca thing. Like, Derek is so lucky that his daughter turned out nothing like him or even Marty. Yeah, it, because no one knows. It, it, he that was like a recipe for disaster. Because he probably would treat her exactly like this, like, "Oh, honey, you're not. You, you don't need to be grounded. You're my yeah. little girl." Fucking hate it. George says, "Okay, but pig kids go to bed on time and clean their room and take baths. See, that's what you should have done to begin with, George." Marty says, "Do I have to?" Like, you just asked for it. My God. You're sending mixed messages here, Marty. <laughs> Again, I, I just, I can't. He's like, yeah, obviously. And she's like, okay, bye. Hugs him and runs off. Like, like that I hate was it. so unrealistic. That whole thing. Like, I hate it. And it made it seem like the kid, a little kid knew better than her parents. I, I just can't. I can't from this, like, Marty shit in this episode. Like, it's unrealistic. It's so dumb. Yeah, they should have They should have resolved it the, the, in that scene prior. Where yeah. it's just, like, they just stuck to their guns. And it's like, maybe this scene would have been, like, him yeah. going up to, like, 
you know, right as she's going to bed and being like, you understand why I did what I did. Right? Like, and having that moment like that probably would have did more than like, I'll do it because I want to do it. Yay! Yeah, that's probably the better outcome, but no, we did it this way and it makes no sense. Okay. It's time for everyone's favorite segment. Questions. After the episode. <laughs> <laughs> questions the after episode you know whatever those weird shows that are like yeah the after show for whatever it is i just remember the teen wolf one the after show for teen wolf i think i used to watch it a little bit but not it's like the oopsie daisy after dark segment <laughs> <laughs> so this person said will you ever tell us how the two of you met but like i feel like we did yeah, we did. Before. I yelled at her to write stories, and that's how it started. <laughs> and we're still there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah still get, still getting asked the same question all the time. Yeah, but yeah. I I had re- I was doing the Daisy Tumblr, um, and she kept pestering me in the uh, DMs, <laughs> asking about Daisy and hockey, and you know, eventually, <laughs> what? I'm just not gonna continue. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that we would talk like that within the Tumblr um, like DMs or whatever, because it was basically just asks. You would yeah. send an ask, and I would send one privately back, and then you would send another. So we don't even have evidence of anything of conversations because of how we used to like do the messages. I know it's so fucking dumb. Um, and then they said, and how come you have never met each other in real life? Because we live on opposite sides of the continent and it, there needs to be money involved to travel. And both of us do not have the means. (laughs) And I don't have a passport. I, at this moment, I do not either. It is expired. (laughs) Wow, Vanessa. I know. Listen, COVID was a thing and I was too lazy to uh, renew it. (laughs) Okay, so here's another question. When did you first start watching, liking Life with Derek and becoming a fan and getting into the fandom? Whatever. I mean, mine was hella late. I think I was just starting high school, which I feel like it might have been like a year later after it actually started because I think like Disney didn't air it right as they premiered in Canada. They might have gotten it like a year later. Yeah, I feel like I started watching it like because I couldn't sleep and I would just go through channels and it was like Family Channel After Dark and it was playing and it was After Dark like, and it showed Life with Derek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can see why it's After Dark. After Dark, <laughs> yeah. I think I was like in 10 or 11th grade or something. So probably around the same time. Yeah, but I'm older than you, so a couple of years ahead. Right? So... Yeah, so it's like probably wasn't long after Life with Derek premiered uh, in the states, at least. And um, cause I remember like thinking someone in my math class in ninth grade looked a lot like Derek. <laughs> is this like one of those things where my mom thinks that like Cameron <laughs> Monaghan is Michael Cedar? Is that what we're having right no, now? But, like it's like he had like the same kind of hair that Michael did in that first season. Okay. And, like, of course, boys all wore the same shit around that time. Yeah. So, you know, it, they probably don't have as much as a similarity anymore, but to me at that time, I, they did. But, like, I don't know how my mom thinks Cameron Monaghan is Michael Cedar. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm like, one's a redhead. I know. <laughs> like, Michael Cedar's not. Like, I think some people say he might have, like, some, like, shades of like redness in his hair but he's not yeah, a clear maybe. redhead like Cam. yeah like and she doesn't know him from obviously life with Derek. she knows him from murdoch mysteries right and she doesn't know his character's name so she actually like tells me the synopsis <laughs> of who the character is she's like you know the one who's a serial killer and wants to kill julia i'm like no it's not him i know who you're talking about it's not him it's just like, if you think it's him, then it's not him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. I'm like, it's not him. <laughs> but uh, I think I, I got into the fandom, at least, like, I, I remember going to the forums 
around that time and seeing like oh people do ship daisy because like i was getting a feeling i was getting a feeling and i was like this is kind of weird but then i was like oh other people do it so okay it's not that weird uh (laughs) and i would just like watch stuff i didn't really write anything for them until like 2012 it was like right around the time when they were talking about a reboot with that life with eric again i think that's when i really started yeah like i've i saw the show like i think like a few years before that and i didn't start reading it until like 2012 ish i feel like yeah i think yeah i feel like like that's when i really started like writing reading making fan videos yeah for the show before then, I would just, like, kind of lurk. But it wasn't anything, like, you know. <clears throat> but, yeah. And then the last one is just that someone said that they hate that my YouTube channel got taken down. Because not only did they like watching Life with Derek and 18 the Life on your ch- on the channel, but also Michael's Instagram videos. And, yeah. I think I still have a lot of that stuff, like, on an external hard drive somewhere. So I could probably upload it again, but that'd take a lot of time, and we'll see. <laughs> um, but there is a... If you check the tum- the Daisy Tumblr, um, I know I posted it somewhere, but someone posted um, a private playlist with all the... Um, I don't think it's private, because I searched it yesterday on it's my unlisted. computer. It's unlisted. Okay, because like... I searched the name of the channel and I found it. Well, so the even... name of the channel, yeah, but the, the videos itself are unlisted. Oh, well, so I like, found if it people easily. look for, like, you know, the name of this episode, Power Failure, they're not going to get that episode that you watched. So, that let's just see how long that lasts, but if you want to watch Life with Eric, that's the way to watch it right now. Um, As for 18 to Life, uh, I mean, again, I have the episodes, I just don't, I just have to upload them, but I don't want to get, <sighs> it just sucks, because these places, like, you should be able to watch them more freely. Not allowed, it's, it's gonna go on asshole. Disney Plus. I wasn't, like, making any money off of that channel. Like, if anything, they were making money off the ads people were watching from me. It's true, though assholes yeah it's fine okay well that's it until next time whenever that is yes when is that i don't even know let me book a ca- my calendar let me check my calendar well it can't be next week and that's for sure <laughs> i think i got a spot <laughs> open in five months most of june <laughs> i think i got a spot open in november how does that work <laughs> Summer's so hard because I have so many birthdays in my family. You know what? You'll get one when you get one, and that's all you'll get from me. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.